Hello everybody, welcome to Clarified Better Show, where we help your hotel to make more revenue, save cost and train your team. On this show, we have Sandeep Sinha to talk about upselling in the hotel. Welcome Sandeep. Thanks a lot for having me here, Vina. It's a pleasure. Oh, it's a pleasure to have you, Sandeep. Uh, so before we begin, can you tell me about your experience and what you were doing all these years? Uh, sure. I, I have around 19 years of hotel experience. I started my career from the Obre Hotels uh, way back in 2001 with the beautiful hotel, uh, the Obre Ode Villas, as the pre-opening team member. I was Went to the hotel, graduated, worked at uh, two hotels before I left the company and joined Taj Bengal Kolkata as a deputy housekeeper. Uh, my first head of department assignment came at the Kota Bay Marriott Chennai in 2009 as an executive housekeeper. In the beginning of 2012, I moved over to the Grand Hyatt in Goa as a housekeeping in charge. Subsequent to that, I uh, graduated into the role of front office manager in the same hotel. And in 2018, I was uh, transferred to, to High Regency Kolkata as a rooms division manager. I, uh, my last assignment was at the JW Marriott Jaipur as director of rooms. Currently, I am setting up my own uh, venture. It's called The Pro Learner. It's about soft skill development and uh, training. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, uh, can you uh, say about your new venture? Um, uh, what is it exactly? And also, what this is, is about. Uh, the name of my uh, my my upcoming uh, project is uh, the pro learner so couple of people like minded people we have uh, come together we understood that in the tier b cities and tier c cities essentially from where i come from uh, there is a lot of requirement for uh, of soft skill of people the the concern is not attitude or the aptitude the the real fine polishing to get them ready for the profession, professional world is something which was uh, required and that is where we come into play. So our idea is currently to, to, currently to reach out to people, to reach out to these upcoming professionals and help them get better before they actually hit the professional world. People who are starting off also will benefit a lot from our modules. Okay, uh, that, uh, that, that is nice and it will be useful to help people to improve their skills. Sure. Yeah, so uh, coming back to the topic of the interview today, that is upselling. What is upselling in the hotel industry? Uh, upselling is uh, a very simple tool to upsell something to a guest, uh, which is what the guest was not really initially had asked for or was anticipating. Usual upselling when we people what people uh, come to people's mind is upselling a room category. It is not only room category or room type which you upsell. You upsell a lot of services also which come along with it. In a restaurant, you can upsell a dessert. You can upsell a beverage. You can upsell a wine bottle. Similarly, the same thing happens in room service where you upsell some, an accompaniment to go along uh, with, with a main course, a nice beverage to go along with, uh, with your steak. You can also upsell services like uh, uh, laundry, like breakfast, like meal component, like airport transfers, if it is not really been booked for or reserved by guest. So upselling is, is a very unique tool, a very unique approach to maximize revenue and also to enhance the overall guest uh, satisfaction uh, in the hotel. Okay. So uh, these are the areas of upselling in the hotel. Uh, which other area do you think uh, a, 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 the upselling can be implemented? Or which all area can you upsell in the hotel? Majority of the upselling happens uh, with rooms and services associated with rooms. So the key department which plays a major role in upselling is uh, front office. Also your in-house reservation or the team which is reconfirming the reservations of guests coming in, they will also play a major role. So I will quickly go through the cycle of upselling and what are the opportunities which are available to us. Uh, first and foremost, when you are re reaching out to a guest with reconfirmation of the reservation, you can always identify uh, the guest, what the guest is coming and the purpose of visit and get to know the guest better. If at all there is an opportunity 
do your upsell pitch. I have always told the reservation teams in my previous roles that if you are up, if you are reaching out to a guest, and if you get to know the guest, if you get to build a connect, try an upsell pitch. If you know a guest is coming with a family, you know, and if the guest is coming for a for a leisure holiday or guest is coming with uh, for a long stay, and if at all you have something better to offer, give the guest an option so that the guest, when he, even if the guest does not take that uh, upsell, then there is something available in the hotel is something which is known to the guest and and front desk job job becomes easier so uh, reservations uh, is number 1 number 2 obviously is uh, front desk while checking in a guest it's a huge opportunity you leave uh, traces alerts and you can upsell a guest number 3 of course you can upsell a guest in different fnb restaurants uh, as i was telling earlier about uh, something to go along with the meal and lastly, I think everyone in the hotel, which is uh, which are the team which are not really doing upsell, should also know about it, because if they have an opportunity to speak to their guest, they can always tell the guest about it. And uh, maybe a front guest is talking to a front desk person and say, "Listen, from my room, I'm not getting a view. Do you have something on a higher floor where I can see the city better, or I can see the ocean in a resort location in, in uh, on a beach?" And you can always say, "Yes, we have. We have a beautiful room. Why don't I show you the room?" So everyone in the hotel should know that these are the services available for upselling. Okay. So why is uh, why is upselling so important? Two reasons. First, uh, upselling helps you in maximizing your revenues, and second, uh, it can help you in increasing guest satisfaction. So a lot of people come back to me, and I have come back to me in the past and asked, "How does it help in in increasing guest satisfaction?" Mm -hmm. Well, uh, it is it is very interesting. You have somebody who's booked for a base category, let's say, I'm taking an example. And uh, the person comes to the hotel, you give him what the person has booked for, the guest goes to the room, comes out and says, you know what, I would have loved to have a little better view or I would have loved to have a bit on something on a higher floor or something with a breakfast uh, inclusive. You know, uh, these are basics which the guest has booked for and you have provided him what has been promised. However, when you go that extra mile and say, listen, sir, I know you're staying for seven days with us. We have a beautiful room on the corner, which has a beautiful view of uh, the city or the swimming pool. And we know you have not booked for, with, uh, a, a package with breakfast. However, if you take breakfast package now, it will be lesser than what an actual breakfast rate will be because you're taking it as part of package of your room. And you explain the guest beautifully, the guest takes the package and he or she has a wonderful stay, checks out and says, you know what, I'm going back to this hotel because this, these people actually know what I'm looking for. When I was staying for seven nights, I did not book the right room or the right package, but they helped me choose the right package and the right uh, room, which really enhanced my stay experience. And I think that's the perfect place where I want to, where, where I want to be. So that was with regards to guest satisfaction. You know, somebody is having a meal, you offer a beautiful wine, the meal is enhanced, you probably have one of the best meals you ever had and you go back and say, I'm going to go back to that restaurant because that steak or that pasta with that wine was beautiful. And you really helped the guest in buying that wine and upselling probably something else with it. So you're, you're, you're uh, getting the guest stay and the guest satisfaction better. Also, what you can do is while you're doing it, you're helping the hotel and your own departments earn better revenues. 3% uh, incremental revenue over the room revenue is what we achieved once. And, uh, and, and I think there are hotels which are doing much, much, much better. You help the hotel uh, earn more revenue. You help the hotel getting a better ARR, better ref bar. And uh, obviously, it's a win-win situation for everybody because the revenues are coming in, the guests satisfaction is increasing so i think it's it's an amazing tool oh that's great that sounds great so uh, so uh, are upselling and upgrade similar uh, not really upgrades is when i upgrade somebody to a be to a better category okay. so i was traveling with my family and uh, my parents and my my, uh, my son uh, this was on a holiday long ago and uh, we were traveling to a to uh, to a location uh, where we are we we are on a pilgrimage, and uh, we reached around three thirty. Yes, so, so uh, reached around three thirty four. Wanted uh, rooms together, so they offered me one suite and a room next to it, which was not a suite, which was a smaller room. And uh, my father said, "The suite is beautiful. That was an upgrade, which they gave me." 
So he oh. said, you know what, I want another room like that because I would like to experience a bigger room myself. And there was a small modifier, a small component, which I had to pay to get my, my, uh, so, so they came back and said, we can do it. We can upsell your room. And this is a small modifier. So uh, classic example, I was upgraded. My father was upsold oh, okay. and uh, that is how it went. So upgrade and upsells are not really similar. Upgrade is when I'm offering somebody an upgrade to a better category because AI may not have a room category of that type, or I may want to have, keep that room vacant. Or I want the guest to experience something better. The guest may be a VIP with me or maybe a loyalty member. And I want to do something for a guest and I'm upgrading a guest. Oh. But upselling is when you're helping somebody buy something which is a different level product. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Right. And uh, what are some of the upselling techniques at the front desk? If, if I am a supervisor or a manager, how can I implement the upselling at the hotel? Uh, First and foremost, you need to ensure that the team which is uh, which is going to upsell, every associate is thoroughly trained. The associate is thoroughly trained on every room room uh, type, technique, the services which can be upsold. Do your role plays. Do mock upselling. Let the person be confident. I have had an experience where somebody knew about upsell because a person attended the briefing and was trying to upsell a guest, a higher room type, and the person took across a guest to a wrong room. And obviously we had to all pitch in. And so, so if you are not training a person, you are setting the person up for failure, uh, which is not good for, for an associate's oh. confidence. So yeah. it, is, it is imperative that the training is, is done thoroughly. The person is absolutely confident. The person knows what are the services we are upselling, what are the categories we are upselling, what categories are available on that day to upsell. If I don't have a suite and the associate goes ahead and says, I'm going to upsell you to a suite, uh, it's it's not going to help. So you need to have somebody who is informed, somebody who is thoroughly trained, somebody who knows about uh, different types of upsell available. And once you have done the role play, then put the person across. So first is training. Second is use your PMS, property management software, very thoroughly. I have used Oprah extensively and I used to make it a point of screen all reservations a day before once I get to know about the guest. Start putting traces and start putting check-in alerts. Check-in alerts and reservation alerts are a fantastic tool because they prompt and they tell you, please upsell the guest breakfast. Please upsell the guest laundry package. Long stare. Try to upsell something on the higher floor. Coming with family, upsell a room with a view. So when these things prompt up, the front desk agent will obviously look at this because when you are in a, in a hurry to check in a guest, it is important that somebody is there to assist you. You cannot have somebody standing next to you. So as a supervisor, what you can do is ensure the necessary alerts are left. People are thoroughly trained. When they are thoroughly trained, it's important that you are part of the whole process. You see for yourself on the shop floor what's happening. If the guest is in a hurry and if the associate is trying to upsell, it is not good because A, the upsell will not happen. And B, if the guest is in a hurry, you let the guest be in. Maybe just tell the guest that you have something available which is a better category or some service which is going to enhance the guest stay. Maybe when the guest has time later on, you can reach out to the guest. Because obviously you have sold the idea, told the idea to the guest and uh, this is lingering in the guest mind. And when you reach out to the guest, probably half of the decision is made and then you can help the guest uh, better. It is also important as a supervisor, you train the team thoroughly on how to close the upsell. When you're upselling a guest, especially at front desk, it is important because some hotels uh, have, I'm, I know it's also in some hotels, people are in a hurry to uh, upsell and uh, put the guest in a room. It is important that you take the guest signature on a registration card. When the guest is signing at the time of check-in, write the upsell component or modifier. Ensure the guest signs for it because then it becomes a written document. At the end of the day, everything has to be thoroughly checked, recorded, put in the PMS. Upsell is done on registration card. Guest is signed is fine. But the same thing has to go back into Oprah, has to be fed in because then it becomes a part of a cycle. It's on Oprah. It's on registration card. Everyone knows about it. Um, and and uh, you update the comments accordingly. Guest has been old, sold club access. Guest has been sold higher category. And then what happens is you have the reservation comments updated. You have the rate updated. You have the registration card updated with guest signature. And uh, you have really closed the loop thoroughly. And then it's important that as a supervisor, you encourage the team to go back to the guest the next day and find out how was service or the room category which has been upsold to the guest. 
And if the guest says, I'm happy, I'm, it, it's fantastic, it's good. If the guest says, I'm not really convinced with this, you know, you can always roll it back and you can save the guest. Uh, I mean, you can contribute to guest satisfaction better. Okay. Okay. So, uh, if I follow all the points you said, uh, we can improve revenue in the hotel. Uh, so, Absolutely. do you have uh, some guidance uh, as to how much improvement uh, I can see? It depends on different hotels, uh, Veena, different locations and what room types and what services you have to upsell. I have generally felt that uh, 2 to 3% of room revenue in upselling is, uh, is a decent figure to achieve. In some hotels, it is much lesser. In some hotels, it can be much better. But it also all boils down to what kind of business you are doing and uh, what are the room types you have and what are the kind of occupancies you do. So it is uh, uh, important that you keep all these factors in mind. But 2 to 3% of uh, room revenue is a very healthy figure to achieve. Okay, that is nice. I think uh, th uh, there, were, uh, there was a lot uh, that our listeners and viewers can take away from the interview. Uh, like how, it is, how important it is to take care of our guests' needs and upsell properly. What I also learned is that if done properly, uh, it will really help the guest and the hotel make additional revenue. Thank you so much for coming to the show, Sandeep. And thank you so much for sharing your valuable feedback and experience and all the information uh, about the upsell. Thanks a lot for having me on the show, Veena. Thank you. I'm uh, most welcome. It's my pleasure. Thank you once again. And uh, for everyone uh, at the Clarified Better Show, thank you so much for listening uh, to the, uh, the show. And, uh, and, and uh, thanks, uh, Sandeep uh, Sinha. That was Sandeep Sinha uh, talking about upselling in the hotel. I hope you liked it and you will also implement it in your hotel um, to uh, uh, increase the profit and revenue for your hotel. Thank you so much for watching Clarify Better Show. Bye-bye.